Want to learn how to make a trending character transition like this? First thing, you'll need these plugins to create the transition. Go ahead and join my Discord server and grab them from there. Before we jump into the tutorial, do me a favor. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Alright, get your clips ready and add Twixter and some zooms. You can also use these comp settings for your edit. Now, duplicate the layer you want to work with. Right-click, go to Time, and select Freeze Frame. After that, just pre-compose it. No need to cut anything yet. Next, click on the pre-composed layer. Open its comp settings, and set the FPS to 60 so the roto brush will work. Head back to your main comp, and cut the clip the way you want. You could mask it manually using the pen tool, but I recommend using the roto brush. It's quicker and easier. So, select the roto brush tool and double click on the clip. Trace around your character's area. If you need to remove parts you don't want, just hold Alt and paint over them to discard. Once you're done masking, go back to the main comp and adjust the feathering to your liking. Now, search for Blurmo Curves. Create a keyframe for Shift Y. Go to the end and add another keyframe. Back at the first keyframe, move the character's position downward. Select your keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Open the graph editor, choose the speed graph, and copy my curve. Left side at 70, right side at 30. See how smooth that looks? Next, add an adjustment layer by pressing Alt plus Control plus Y and cut it like this. Search for Motion Tile and set its values as I show. Then, search for S underscore Shake and apply it to the adjustment layer. Change the frequency to 13. Add a keyframe for amplitude. Set it to zero at the start and end. And somewhere in the middle, raise it to about 0 0.976. Easy ease those keyframes. Open the graph editor Pick the value graph and copy my curve. Now, search for BCC Lens Blur OBS and add it to the adjustment layer. Copy my settings. Create three keyframes and set the middle one to a value between 15 and 20.
Easy ease them. Open the value graph and copy my curve too. If it still looks too sharp, set the iris scale to around 20 for extra blur. Looking clean, right? If you want to add a ripple effect, create another adjustment layer over the clip, search for BCC Ripple Dissolve, and add it. Change its color and copy my settings. For a faster ripple, set both values to minus 70. For a slower, smoother ripple, go with minus 60. You can also throw in a glitchify effect for extra punch, or skip it if you like. Finally, the most important part, you need a good color correction to keep your edit from losing quality when uploading to social media. You can grab my color correction presets from the shop, the link's in the description. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and share your tutorial ideas in the comments, so I can help you out next time. See you in the next tutorial.